I want to give you some positive news about the Villa V Odyssey. And maybe someday I might be able to, but that day isn't today. Thanks for watching today, my friends. I'm Jeff. This is Backroads Tourist. Wow, just when you think things were looking up for the Villa V Odyssey, along comes another setback like a punch in the stomach. I'm going to give you the details of just what happened, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and speculations about what's going on with Villa V. Whenever I do a story on Villa V, I always like to give a brief overview of the situation because I know that some of you may have never seen my videos before and may have no idea what's going on with this cruise ship. So in a nutshell, Villa V Residences is offering people a chance to buy a cabin on the Villa V Odyssey and then spend the rest of their life or the rest of the ship's life sailing around the world. I've seen price quotes from $100,000 to $800,000 depending on the cabin, and I've also heard that there's a monthly fee that residents also have to pay. The Villa V was supposed to sail in mid-May, but has had setback after setback, and now nearly four months later, there's been another setback. She's been getting worked on in the shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and several of the residents have been staying in Belfast, waiting for their floating home to set sail. Due to regulations, they haven't been able to sleep on the ship, and Villa V has been putting them up in various hotels around Belfast. The last news we got from the Villa V CEO said that the Odyssey had finished and passed her sea trials and that a few minor things needed to be taken care of over last weekend and that they expected to get their Coast Guard clearance on Monday or Tuesday and finally leave Belfast. Bear in mind, this is the same CEO who said on July 27th that their ship would be ready to sail on July 30th. Well, early today, Tuesday, September 10th, Villa V residents were informed that the sea trials weren't as great as what they thought they'd be and that there were still some certifications that needed to be obtained. And it looked like the launch date won't be for at least another week. Now, it would be bad if the news ended there, but it doesn't. In the email, the Villa V CEO also told the residents that Villa V would no longer be paying for their lodging. According to residents who received this email, Villa V says they've spent somewhere in the vicinity of half a million dollars on hotel rooms in Belfast for residents who are waiting for the Odyssey to sail. So not only is there another delay of at least a week, but passengers are on their own until the Villa V Odyssey leaves Belfast. Before I give you my thoughts and feelings on what's going on with Villa V, I'd like to ask you to please click that subscribe button down there and join the Backroads Tourist family. We're trying to inch our way to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and with your help, I think we just might have a shot at doing that. Also, normally I would ask you to click the like button for this video, but there's really not a whole lot in this story to really like per se. So let me say this instead. If you appreciate being kept up to date with breaking news like this, then please hit the like button. Now, before I go any further, let me just say that these are my thoughts and speculations based on the information I have at this juncture in time. I could be totally wrong, and in some cases, I hope I am, but this is how I see things. First of all, I really don't think that Villa V is a scam. I think that Villa V residences sincerely tried to provide what they promised, but due to circumstances, they weren't able to. However, I do think that the company made some poor decisions. I think that they may have rushed into buying a ship. The Odyssey had been sitting idle for a few years, and there were problems getting the maintenance record for their ship. In a recent article by CNN Travel, it states that before the sale, the ship was subject to a full and independent survey and technical inspections by Villa V. My initial reaction to that is either those surveys and inspections were way off or they weren't very thorough because it looks like they missed a lot of problems that came back to bite them. On to the next topic. Now, friends, I have no way of knowing what Villa V's financial health is like. They could be flush with money as far as I know, but I do want to point out two observations I've had. The first one is obvious. 
They're cutting off paying for lodging for residents who are in Belfast waiting for the Odyssey to sail. They've been providing hotel rooms for these people for the better part of four months, let's say 16 weeks. Now, they're giving people hope that the ship may be sailing in a week, if that's the case. Wouldn't you think that they could dig a little bit deeper and find a way to cover lodging for just another week? It seems to me that either they can't afford to cover another seven days of lodging for these people, or they think that this delay could be more than seven days, maybe much more. The second thing I noticed is that on their Facebook page today, there's a post welcoming an accounting specialist to the Villa V team. It could just be a coincidence, but I'm just leaving it there for what it's worth. Along with an accounting specialist, I think that Villa V residences should hire some public relations people. Having the CEO of all people mention sailing dates that don't happen and, according to CNN Travel, canceling the contracts of residents who speak negatively about Villa V is bad enough. But then telling residents that they have to fend for themselves for lodging, well, it's just not a good look. I don't know what the future holds for Villa V. As always, I'm hoping that those who have paid their money get to realize their dream of sailing around the world for years. But when you step back and look at the bad decisions that have been made, the constant setbacks and the hindsight financial problems, well, as I said, I hope I'm wrong and that Villa V manages to overcome these problems and any other problems that may arise. We'll see. Thanks again for watching today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I'm Jeff. I hope to see you on a future cruise.